This slash unit is an optional one and there are no problems following it, but this will try to summarize some of the work that's gone on in physics the rest of the 20th century and some of the challenges as we uh, head into the 21st century. Physics status. We started out by discussing how physicists at the end of the 19th century were pretty comfortable with what they had. Electricity and magnetism had been unified. Uh, mechanics and thermodynamics were well understood. Things were good. Then quantum physics hit and the rest of the 20th century has been spent on explaining the physics of very, very tiny particles and objects that move very fast. The objects moving very fast is a province of special relativity. And now, the uh, latest thing has been the dark energy and matter hypothesis. It turns out that we've only been looking at 5% of the universe. Conventional matter and energy that we've been studying ever since there has been physics is just 5% of the universe. Clearly, there's much more to discover. So we're going to summarize some of the key developments after quantum physics started and see where we are now. We'll start with quantum electrodynamics. This provided an integrated explanation of relativity, quantum mechanics, and electrodynamics, which is electromagnetism, that describes how light and matter interact and has made phenomenally accurate predictions that have been verified by experiment. It's probably one of the most proved theories of this century. Paul Dirac and Hans Bethe in introduced the concept, and Sin Itiro Tamananga, Julian Schwinger, and Richard Feynman were awarded the Nobel Prize for completing the work. It's deceptively simple in its concept, and Feynman summarized it as follows. Photons, again light, move from one place in time and space to another. Electrons do the same thing, and electrons emit or absorb protons. That's it. Now obviously the math is way more complex, but drawings of these interactions to help make them simple are called Feynman diagrams, and they enable these complex calculations to be made. The electroweak interaction. In the 19th century, electricity and magnetism were integrated into one force, electromagnetism. Now, what the electroweak interaction does is integrate electricity and magnetism with the weak force, and the weak force is the one responsible for the radioactive decay of nuclei. These forces are very, very different at low energy but at energies greater than 100 GeV, electron volts, giga electron volts, they are one force, the electroweak force. Abdus Salam, Sheldon Glashow, and Steven Weinberg were awarded the Nobel Prize for their work in this area.